All right, welcome back to the Madvent Calendar 4. I kind of scrapped that whole idea I had about like, oh, let's split up the stream into two parts, one for each car, because uh, we didn't finish the second car last time. So I guess uh, not like we, we should have really. I'm kind of skipping ahead in the days here. And I don't really know how that's going to work because there is that like the lock here. But I don't know if this is a lock as in, oh, it's not done yet, or if it's just, you know, we need to complete all of these, the two previous cars, and then that'll unlock. And I think that's probably just like a, a Madvent calendar story thing, which I may or may not care about. And I think I heard something about like 25 being added later on, but I don't know if that has been added. There was an update like the day after I, after I streamed this last, so I'm not sure. Maybe that comes later still we'll see how much we can do today also they seem to have fixed the uh the numbers or maybe i just need to re restart the game to fix that who what was that don't remember hearing that before and yeah also the the audio was like a little i was overcompensating a little bit and making it like very quiet i'll try and adjust that today so hopefully it's better but we'll see so yeah i left off with this one and thinking about it, like, I've been told that the last ones of each car apparently will just be kind of those those types of, like, dioramas or whatever you want to call them. Like these ones, like Snowdust City Station, where you just walk around and get a little bit of text and vibe for a bit. And then there's nothing more to them, really. So maybe I could have played this last time and then quickly checked that out, but didn't know that. So... I want to give this one like a fair shot because Terror on Tromos 5 seemed very cool right off the bat. So let's head back into that. And I think I'll have to replay most of it, right? No. Oh, wow. that It just loads back. But hmm. I honestly. Oh, yeah. I noticed after I ended the stream that you can actually like scroll down. There's even more settings than just this. There's even like full screen modes and quality settings and brightness settings. Very, very nice. Yeah, I, I might just rest restart, ah, restart the story, I guess, just to like start it over since we only did like 10 minutes or something. Does that work? I mean, not really. We don't get the, like, the actual intro. How do we... How do we do that? Also, what is retro mode? Like... Oh yeah, I, I tried looking at this and I don't even see any difference. I see no difference. Wait, so apply, quit. If I head back in... Yeah, there we go. Now it starts from scratch again. Uh, did it reset all the settings? No, I don't think so. Yeah, I think everything is uh, is saved here. So yeah, we start in the middle of nowhere in like Spain. I'm not sure what that flashing is. Like, can I see what is causing that? Don't think so. Yeah, we can't even, like, move forward. So I guess you're just supposed to sit here for a little bit. And then we wake up here on some sort of space station. Uh, what did we read first here again? There was something to like read right off the bat, wasn't there? 
before I equipped the suit, I thought. Did that not get reset? Or did I actually have to do this? Oh, yeah, there we go. I'll just reread this since it's like, I might as well treat it as like a new recording of this or whatever. New stream. Suit manual. Thank you for using the Aerolabs MX3000. This fully equipped spacesuit comes with the following features. Mag boots. Your MX3000 comes with magnetized boots that will automatically engage when you're near certain types of floors. So if you find yourself in a zero-g environment, such as space, the MX3000 will automatically keep you from drifting out into the abyss. Beware, however, that jumping will disengage the boots. Magpull. If you ever find yourself in the horrible situation where you're out of stamina and drifting through zero-g space, aim yourself towards a metallic surface and hold right mouse button. I don't think I noticed that last time, that it's specifically metallic surface. Your mag boots will safely drag you your spaced body towards the surface. Boosting. This suit is equipped with small thrusters that let you maneuver whilst floating in zero-g space with the WAs and D keys. These thrusters use stamina, which only regenerates when you're grounded. Dashing. Caught in a dangerous jam? Press shift. Dangerous game jam, perhaps. Press shift to quickly dash out of the way whilst moving so you can blast your foe to smithereens. Be mindful, though, that dashing uses a small amount of stamina. At any time, you can also press F10 to view all the controls. Mission, 30th of August, 2056, 6 p.m. Contact has been lost with our mining colony on the asteroid Tromos 5. The mining colony holds a significant dollar value to Air Labs and partnered governments. All your efforts must go to preserving Air Labs assets and any remnants of element T5. Air Labs, did I read this last time? I don't remember this. Air Labs have authorized the use of deadly force in any instance of rebellion. Signed by Air Labs Asset Protection Division. Access credentials, station 1A, download the suit. Ah, so we had to had to read this to get the credentials so I could leave, so I guess I did read that, but I don't even remember, so good thing I did. Like, redid all of this. We can't go anywhere else, I can't break any windows. It's not a secret code shooting those those tiles now. Depressurizing. So does this hurt? No, it's just like a block. Oh, overheated. There's cute open messages. But I don't need that right now as far as I know. Yeah, maybe this is still too too quiet a little bit. So let me just increase it a little bit. For myself as well. Yeah, we'll have to see a little bit. Like the gun is kind of loud, but it should be okay. Sh shortage. I've submitted my report to the authorities. Our fuel reserves have been drained, and my only suspect, unfortunately, is Captain Percy himself. We have enough to keep the station in orbit, and we're barely making our delivery quota, but any mishaps could put us all in harm's way. The UN needs to take this seriously. Signed by Douglas Brody, Chief of Security. Magpul. Like, to there? How did I do the magpul again? Right mouse button. Because it's like a metal railing? Or is it the floor I'm like, pulling to, yeah? And then we got shift as a little dash that has a bit of a cooldown. What was that? Energy? Oh yeah, that's stamina, top right. Mag pulled across gaps. And then we went in here and found, like, one more document before I ended it last time.
Emergency. Subject X has escaped. Extremely dangerous. Avoid at all costs. Defend yourself with terminal intensity if encountered. Abandoned station. Use spaceship at Dockic BV. I don't I don't know what that is. If it's like you know, corrupted or something. Message unsigned. Access credentials station 1B downloaded to suit. Diagnosis. Dana exhibits classic symptoms of space sickness. Type 2 hallucinatory behavior coupled with drowsiness and headaches. Is that asteroid coming towards me? I wrote her a prescription, but I somehow doubt she'll fill it. Off the clock, she's become insufferable after Madrid. She acts like she's been distressed and world conscious, but we all know she's just playing it up for sympathy. She doesn't even know, know anybody in Madrid. I'll try to keep my politics separate from the diagnosis, but it is my belief that her fur furlough, I don't know what that word is, should be denied on the grounds of dishonesty. Signed by Dr. Adrian Clay, Chief Medical Officer. Is she suspect, subject, ex suspect, whatever? Magpul, I see. Yeah, so here's where I left it off, so now it's new from here on. So we can either go this way or go down here. It looks like there's more to do over here, so maybe we should go this way first. How do I go down? You just have to, like, fly straight down. There's no, like, button to go down. Control, shift, C. No. A lot of first aid kits. As if we'll need them. Also for controls, did we have anything else? No flashlight or anything? No. It's pretty dark. I don't think this ship is uh, gonna work, is it? It's very quiet now, but I feel like it's going to get loud when something starts happening. Missing fuel source. Okay, so we maybe need two fuel sources, or... If it's just, like, a repeat of the same terminal. Kind of reminds me of, like, the Ragnarok from uh, Final Fantasy VIII. Just having, like, a rows of seats and then a cockpit with, like, one seat. I don't know. Getting some uh, flashbacks. No fuel. Everything's gone to shit. Captain left us to die. Baster. Data corrupted. Enough fl fuel for everyone. Data corrupted. N Reads this. Hold the station into the asteroid where it belongs. This station. Uh huh. Signature corrupted. What does that mean? Like, can I mag pull the entire thing towards somewhere else? And then is there something up here? Not really, no. So if I sit here, I can't magpull, no. Yeah, you kind of, like, go flying straight up as soon as you jump. Yeah, you have to be a little careful so you don't just go flying off. Missing fuel ore. Carmen. I told Dana, but she doesn't understand. I hear Carmen's voice on the station. She's with me here in my room and at work and at lunch. She talks to me and she loves me. They need to mind their own business. Their, their own business. If they don't believe me. I don't need the operation. I don't want the operation. Let me work, please. Signed by Manny, custodian. I don't know if I missed one of these, like up by the ship. Is that one right there? 
I guess you should always be on the lookout for red. I need to be on the lookout for my voice. One sec. I don't know what's going on. Lately, I feel like my voice is just dying as if I am I have a cold, but I don't. I feel totally fine. Just, like, losing my voice a lot lately. Oh, stop. Uh-oh. Wait, hold on. I need to, like, redo this so I get more energy. Apparition. I've seen a lot of things out here, but this might just take the cake. Three miners just stopped working deep in the mines and started having conversations with thin air. They weren't talking with each other, just saying random shit like they expected someone to respond. They've been on this rock for about two years now. We all get stir crazy sometimes, but this shit's wild. Real wild. Signed by Francois, Frankie, LeMay, Shaft 4C Assistant Supervisor. Yeah, it certainly has the, like, horror ambience of, uh, like, in the background, even though there's not much that's happening in terms of horror. Not that that's necessarily a bad thing. Slow pacing. And just not, like, throwing monsters at you right off the bat. But it's just, like, as soon as we have a gun and health and tons of first aid kits and stuff, it seemed like it was going to be more... Action-packed right off the bat, but not yet. Dossier, however you pronounce that again. Senator Joseph P. Kennedy the Fourth, D N Y. I don't know what that means. Table of Contents. Introduction. Co-chair of Senate Select Committee for for Defense Appropriations. Stuff. Uh huh. I don't think this is relevant, really. Why is that one? Oh, that's just a light. I thought that was like a something to read. No, it's just a light. Sorry. Thought I would like try and help. So where exactly am I trying to go? Do you say Bolivian prostitutes and where to find them? I missed that. I can't even read it. Hold on, it's it's here. Yep. Yeah, I, I missed that. Classic US politicians, I guess. What's that? A drill? Can't grab it. It's kind of an interesting mechanic that, like, you have so little energy to fly around. You have to be very careful with horror time, with how much energy you use flying to things, because, yeah, you're very easily just lost in space. Oh, crap. Oh! We have combat. Hold on. Let me just fly over here with my energy so I can recharge. I think I kind of ruined some dramatic reveal of the, the monster. It was supposed to, like, emerge from down there, and I just, like, looked away. Whoa. Whoa. How did you end up there so quickly? Is he teleporting? Oh, it's teleporting. Ow. I see. Circle strafe. Circle strafe. No monster has ever been known to handle circle strafing. Can I please get this thing? This document or log? Oh! God, you just go flying off. There we go. Fifth column. Captain's log. Confidential. Can't sleep. Brody's asking questions. I, I haven't been paying attention to, like, the date and how long this 
like the time scale of all of these, but oh well. I can't properly answer. I thought about cutting off the extra shipments, but that's not an option either. Not unless I want the KGB sniffing around up here, looking for their end of the bargain. The T5? Is it TS? T5? That must be a 5, because this is an S. The T5 must flow in both directions. Sooner or later, the UN is going to find out. Someone on the Soviet end is going to slip that they've been getting their hands on T5, and is going to lead back to me. Why did I take this deal? Signed by Captain Willem G. Percy, Commanding Officer. Alright, let's see if we can get back before I run out of energy. Here we go. I thought there was like a hole down here that the monster came from, but I guess not. T5 fuel or retrieved. Yeah, maybe this is going to be a fairly uh, short game. Kind of seems like it at this point. Like we're just going to get two fuel ores or maybe one fuel ore and then just get the fuel and probably uh, run away in a blaze of glory as monsters teleport behind us. Just gonna see, is this, like, metallic? Oh, no, no it's not. This is fine. This is not fine. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. These are apparently not in range or metallic. Well, so long. Based. Where's the checkpoint? All the way here? Really? And I have to like recollect all the logs too? Okay, that's kind of a uh, kind of severe. Yeah, it's a bit harsh. I thought at least like when I got the fuel ore that would have been a uh, a checkpoint. Can't, like, press any key to close that. Yeah, I hate that you fly up so far. Like, you have to spend so much energy just counteracting the jump itself. Guess you can do something like that. Q escape works, yeah. Oh, yeah, right. So, enemy? E enemy? Okay, there we go. There we go, and now let's get back properly. Yeah, it's weird that you can't pull to like the underside of something, it has to be the uh, the top so you can land on it, but like that doesn't really make any sense in space, does it? Ah. 
Power restored. And I guess we go into either one of these to find, like, the two fuel... whatever, fuel cells that we need. Pressurizing. Yeah. Oh. I think I saw that. I don't know if that was something I was supposed to see. Like, was that something? Or was it just, like, one of the PlayStation 1 style warping, texture warping things? Isolation. I put in a formal request for fur. Okay, hold on. Furlough. Furlough. Suspension or discharge of a worker or workers on account of economic conditions or short shortage of work, especially when temporary. Uh-huh. Now I know. For furlough next month, I can't take it here anymore. Medbay says I'm hallucinating from overwork, seeing clouds of blue gas by the station. Are they screaming at you and shooting things? Not that things are any better back on Earth. All of their talk about using T5 for peaceful purposes, and I have to read about what happened in Madrid. Typical. Oh, that's where I came from, I guess, but maybe I'm not me, like, I'm not sure if the the intro is this character, or if it's a different one. Message appended 3rd of August, so like, a little later, a month later, or, well, two weeks-ish. Manny means well, but a lot of the women on the station find him, well, they're just not comfortable around him. Last night he tried to clean the showers while Yeoman, Ye Yeoman? Yeoman Adams was still in there. She's filed a formal complaint. I've tried to explain that it's not his fault, but she won't hear it. What do you mean it's not his fault? What's wrong with him? I know this isn't my station, but I consider Manny a friend. Sending him back to Earth would be a terrible idea. He has friends here, and he performs his duties admirably. I recommend having him work under Brody for the time being. Uh, they get along well, and all Manny needs is a little guidance in life. Signed by Dana Romero, Geotechnical Planning. Hmm. Sound... Uh oh. Sounds sus. I don't think it died. I think it just teleported, yeah. It's like five hits to kill one. Oh. Am I supposed to be, like, going down? I think it's pause while I'm doing this, right? Wait, is it? It's not. Okay, I'll read that later. Fuel obtained, one out of two. Hi, can you not teleport in my face? This one is a big one. That was, like, tankier than normal. Okay, and here we don't- we can't jump that high. Oh, oh dear. Yeah. It's a little trickier. I'm guessing they're gonna keep... Keep spawning. I guess you can just do that to, like, make sure you don't overshoot it. Might help a little bit. Uh, could you change to FOV? No. So yeah, it does feel a slight bit narrow for me, but not too bad. That's that. Alright. Pretty neat. Depressurizing again. So now, hold on, let's just see if any, uh, any aliens pop up. Doesn't look like it, so let's read this. Recommendation. In medical school, we had a test case very similar to Manny. Believed he was seeing dead people, acting up in the wildest ways. I'm afraid the doctrine is very clear. I've performed hundreds of these procedures in my time, with... 
Okay, this is creaking. Thought it was like a growling. Uh, with modern medical advancement, uh, advancements, the subject won't feel a thing. After that, we send him back to Earth with a generous severance package where he can become a productive member of society. Each moment of indecision only aff affords Manny more time to continue on his present self-destructive -destruct course. Signed by Dr. Adrian Clay, Chief Medical Officer. This Manny seems like a cool, well-adjusted individual. This is already active. I guess we're doing a similar thing here. I'll leave this for after we're out of here. Or should I? Kind of seems... Seems fine. Explanation. I expected this nonsense from Manny, but it appears to have spread to the mining crew. Now we have 31 fully capable adults claiming to see dead people. Usually relatives or friends who died in Madrid, but others are claiming to see perfect strangers. In the Middle Ages, a case occurred where all the nuns in a convent started meowing like cats. I've heard of that. While humorous, the phenomenon is easily explained by mass hysteria. The women were isolated and, and, and unhappy. The same thing is clearly wrong with the miners on the station. I prescribed each case with psychoactive medication and will be following up as needed. What I can't explain is why, if Manny is patient zero, he only spread it to the miners. Signed by Dr. Adrian Clay, Chief Medical Officer. There's nothing else lying around down here. Hello. I don't know what's going on with this guy's head. Anything else to read? No? I guess that's normal? I thought it was like, you know, corrupting. Oh, there's one. Hallucinations. I swear to God, she was right there, a little girl. I couldn't have been older, couldn't have been older than eight, just walking around the mines in bare feet. There aren't supposed to be any children on this station. I told security and they said they couldn't find her. They say nobody can find her. Nobody's even seen her, except me. We've all been hallucinating recently, seeing things that shouldn't exist. Am I getting sick too? Signed by Francois Frankie LeMay. Yep. Hand basket. That bug thing they found in the mines gives me the creeps. It's bad luck. Miners say their hallucinations are attacking them now. How does something like this even happen? I bet that freak Manny had something to do with this. His delusions are causing these accidents. I'm going to have a chat with Captain Percy. We need to sort this out before we lose the whole damn station. Mary Adams? Human? I don't know what that is. Uh, do I have to, like, escape quickly? Asteroid out. Destabilizing. Get to the spaceship. Get to the chopper. No time. Planetary impact in five minutes. Hold on, I got five minutes, I can kill this guy. Secure the area. Okay, you actually have to. Whoa, spiders. Again, circle strafing is king. No one can handle circle strafing. It's like teleporting, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, maybe they should have uh, done something more with these, like where you had to jump. Oh, okay, you have to jump, never mind. It just had to say something, yeah, like to make it not just circle strafe to win.
little spongy, this thing. There we go. Area is secure. Guess I might as well take one of these. Is anything actually, like, happening down there? Kind of, yeah. Quick, let's go. Are we going to have a dead space moment? Can't even tell if I'm moving. Perfect. Free energy. And there we go, which is close. Okay. I mean, I'm, I'm glad I left that for today, because, yeah, would have had to, like, kind of rush through it last time. Yeah, that was really cool. Honestly, I kind of wish that was, like, a fully-fledged game instead, like, as a prototype. I like the, uh, the mechanics of, like, jumping around zero-g, having a limited amount of... Like, it's, it's a little similar to Outer Wilds in that sense, but not quite the same thing and the like magpul i feel like you could kind of expand on that mechanic and like maybe you know magpul objects to you and magpul different like things in the ceiling to like swing over in zero g to other places and like preserve energy and you know it could be uh could be like expanded upon in many ways and yeah the writing was interesting the setting was interesting and it played very well and again very well done like performance and the uh, options menu and all that like pretty rare to see that in these like quick game jam-esque games uh, this isn't technically a game jam as far as i know like i don't think they were under extreme time pressure or anything like that but still very impressive i like this one quite a lot so now we're gonna relax and vibe i guess in frostbite forest station by this guy again the uh the like organizer of the whole pack The halfway station and last chance to turn back. I'm committed. Yeah. Oh, sensitivity is very high. But hey, I got a new mouse, so I can just turn down my sensitivity. So, uh, still very high, even on like 400 DPI. Can I actually set my, my DPI even lower than that? I don't know if it goes any lower. Yeah, you can. Goes down to 240. Sure, let's do that. We'll just have a profile with, like, the lowest possible DPI. So, yeah. Now it's acceptable. At this rate, I'll be done with the 8-bit era. What? This time next year. You mean you're playing, like, she's playing every single game or something, I think? There's some story going on with these characters, but... Glad to be out of the city. Again, if you if you care about that, you can feel free to play the the pack yourself. I like the music though. The only thing I don't like is same as the previous one is when you turn this way, it's like 100% in your right ear. I feel like the panning could be a little less severe. Can still see new spook city glow. City's glow. Wonder how far we'll have to go to escape it. Oh yeah, that's beautiful. I don't usually take this much time off. It's nice slowing down for a minute. I guess we still have a couple of, like, random strangers. Ah. But after this one, I, I assume we'll have just the, like, Madvent characters and no one else. I hope Santa isn't like the one in that dream where you make fuel. Seems kind of mean. Oh yeah, 
that one. Yeah, that was also a cool, cool game. But yeah, he didn't seem very Santa-like. They're trespassing. Yeah, I kind of thought so. I was going to say, like, get off my property or something. And we got invisible walls here. Kind of nice looking tree sprites, honestly, like the birch one without any leaves. And I assume it's the same. There's no no text or anything this time, like about going forward or back. Things aren't right here. Please listen to me. Time is running out. Shouldn't we have that like... Oh no, yeah, the, the meat present box thing is the one that's controlling the train. So I guess that's all the characters? I think we're done now. Alright. So there we go. Now let's... Oh, right. Super low sensitivity. There we go. So now, what happens now? Okay, fine. I'm gonna watch it. Whatever. I don't know how long this is, though. Oh. Uh, hey. It's pretty quiet. Who am I? You're talking about, like, itch.io comments? Leave a comment on this video what you think. Okay, that was very quick, at least. Alright, so... Wait, no. Car 3. What? Wait, oh, car 3 is just this, I see. So, now it's car 4. Alright. Let's keep going. Now the numbers are gone again. Yeah, okay, that's just some sort of bug, I guess, that has not been fixed. So, I mean, do I care? I think it's just going to disappear again, then, if I just head in, so... Oh, well. The People's Sky by Coulter. Online social elements. Oh, okay. We're going to fill the sky tonight. I don't know how this is going to work. Welcome. The sky is public. What does it say, like, at the top here? Hold on. Hold on. It said something at the top before I, like, captured it. Confirming server availability. Welcome. This sky is public. We collect only what you post. Every device gets one account. We moderate submissions. I don't want to submit anything. Loaded 77 stars. Click logo to begin. Drag to orbit. Oh, so these are the comments they were talking about? Yeah, I see. Love you all. Hope your Christmas is a good one, even if it's your, just yourself. Keep the laments at bay. They don't like tinsel. Probably a Xiao main. Yeah, it's just, just comments. Kanye. Okay. Fine. Fair enough. Fair enough. This one time, I will do this. Place your bets is probably going to be something just silly.
Probably just going to be like Merry Christmas or something. No, it's Herald of Dark. Okay, didn't expect that. Never mind. Not Merry Christmas or anything. Yeah. All right, the people's sky. Better than no man's sky. Ghost Cannibal by Spoon and Veratus. Strong language. A group of psychic ghosts. W is and E. Left click. Right click to channel power. Jump and double jump. Sprint and air dash. Psychic ghost hunters enter a cursed grove, grove graveyard in search of. The Ghost Cannibal, to banish it once and for all. I guess there's a cutscene, yeah? Are these, like... Deploying around the graveyard or something as an energy barrier or something. All right, everything looks good All the emitters are running Okay, so as the the initiate for this year, it's gonna be your job to awaken Christmas The four specters of Christmas will incarnate here Once you defeat them their spirits will return to the sconces Defeat all four and the door will open to you does it say stairway to heaven or hell? But yeah, see that bell? If shit hits the fan, we'll let you know. I'ma whack it. Yeah, she's gonna whack it. Anyways, just listen for the bell. We'll let you know. W what do I do if I hear the bell then? Oh, Jesus, that's some texture warping. Okay, enough with the texture warping. We get it. PS1. I, I don't think any PS1 worked quite like this. And there is a sensitivity, actually. I think I need to adjust it. Yeah, it's actually very low, surprisingly. It's not really a, a problem you usually have. Why, why are you shirtless, though? Yeah, this, this is a little too ridiculous in terms of texture warping, I think. Absorb energy. Do I want to? Isn't that like to heal or something? I guess let's try it. Ball. It's a very disgruntled ball. Um. And that's the max. Pop. Oh, you get like overhealed. Interesting. And I guess I've used that up. I wonder if this is going to get loud once things start happening. Oh. What? What the hell is happening, huh? Rat! Rat, lead me to, to, like, secrets or something. Who are you? Why do you have such an ass? What What is happening? What am I supposed to do? No other thing than W does anything. Multiplier. You have to do... W S A D one. What? What? I I'm so confused. I don't understand what's happening. What am I doing? I can air dash.
Oh, I'm just pressing them in the order they're like around the circle. I didn't understand that. I thought it was like randomized. But what what is this doing? I, I can't what? I can't do anything. I don't understand this game. I don't think I want to absorb energy since I'm just wasting those as far as I can tell. Yeah, like seriously, this this warping. This is a bit too uh, nonsensical for me, I think. Like, both the visuals and the mechanics are just incomprehensible. Did it say anything else about the controls? It just said right-click and, like... Interact with left-click. Right-click was, like, absorb energy and stuff. And then you could shift to sprint and air dash. That was it, right? Where where was the start? I can't even find them anymore. If I'm safe here in the corner, let's see what happens if I like go the entire way around this. I would have preferred if it didn't say W A S and D and instead just said like the arrows of what you had to press, like up, down, left, right. It's just, like, easier to process, in my opinion. Oh, he's coming. He's stuck. That's good for me. I'm losing stamina. <laughs> what? You have to do that to, like, every single thing? You have to... Do like 10, 10 Simon Says things? Yeah, this is the one I started on, right? Now what? There's another one. Did I get like one of the sconces from that? No. I'm I'm so confused by this game. I don't understand what I'm like supposed to be doing. Now this guy's running. But, like we can't I can't just like do one of these and then like let it go. Oh I can by just okay. By left clicking. You have to left click like mid cast. So we do want to like Line it up and then do as much as I can, like maybe uh, try and get this guy's attention. Yeah, like that, and then run over. Get the stamina back. And then like, while he's here, I'll start charging up the uh, multiplier. And then, like, go. That apparently worked. Yeah, I feel like some amount of, like, tutorial would have been nice for this to explain what the hell you're doing. Is the rat one of the things I need to, like, exercise? And yeah, I don't understand, like, where did they go? Where is the bell tower? Oh yeah, you can double jump as well. Forgot about that. Rat. I don't think I can ever hit the rat with anything. Oh Jesus Christ. Hi. Bone zone time. Oh, he's gone. Damn. And you lose stamina, like, over time as you do these as well.
Well, this is going to be wasted. Take this. Die, tree. Oh, jeez. Okay, that was a texture warped, like, tree. Like, if we just had some, some basic attack or something as well, I feel like that would make sense if you could just, like, attack normally and then maybe you could, like, stun enemies and then use the, uh, like, incantation thing to do special attacks. I don't know. But where are my friends? Where is Mr. Skeleton Man? Is he just not gonna be... ...be showing up anymore? I guess I'll do this. I don't know, like, why you would want to do this. It feels like you're probably not meant to do this unless you take damage. I can do it again? No? I swear if this rat is something you need to somehow, like, magically hit. Skullman is just not showing up again. Friends are just gone. Seriously, what the hell? I did like a different spell. Like if I just do this, it's just a ball. But if I do... What? What happened? That? Still a ball. What was that like beam I did then? Rat is coming over. Bye rat. I'm not sure if that's, like... I think that's about as much health as I got the last time, so I don't think it's... stacking. Like, there's just no way. It's too fast. There's no way you can, like... do an incantation and hit this rat. That is not... humanly possible. But what else am I supposed to do? I don't understand. Can you like ring the bell or something so we can have something happen? It's just not possible. That's not happening. If you could, like, freeze it somehow, then maybe. Is the game, like, bugged or something? Was the skeleton supposed to show up again as, like, a boss fight? Or is it, like, hidden somewhere where you just have to wander around and then eventually the skeleton will, like, try and ambush you again and then you can land... A hit on him or something? I, I don't understand.
And yeah, like the, the bell tower is just gone. It doesn't exist anymore. We have like entered some sort of non Euclidean geometry. Skeleton is just not showing up. Can I do like a spell on this to summon something? No, oh, I pressed the wrong button or like I let go instead of Click, clicking, left clicking. Oh, I heard something. Yeah. Take that. Now what? Do you want to show up again? It's always the same pattern, so I guess you can just kind of learn it after a while. Again, I would have preferred uh, arrow keys. Almost hit the, the rat, though. Yeah, th this game is like nonsense. This game needs more like direction or something. It's I don't understand what's going on. Almost hit the mouse or rat. Oh my god. There's no way this is a thing you can do, right? I think it's like, is it running in a cycle? Maybe? I thought it seemed to be running pretty randomly before. Yeah, I think that was just coincidence. Yeah. Can the skeleton come back or something? Oh, there we go. I'm just gonna do a level one because like... I don't have time for more, I don't think. But then like, how do you know where the skeleton's gonna show up next? Oh, you juked me! Fuck you! Oh, I, I hit him. Calculated. Okay. This is... nonsensical. So now there's gonna be something else, like, somewhere in this arena. Maybe we should try and, like, absorb some... Overheal as well. Oh, I think I see something on the left there. Oh, it's gone. Damn.
Also, some, like, music or something would have been nice. Is that a moose? Oh, crap. No. No! Damn. I was hoping I could, like, charge up a big one when it was stuck there. Oh, you just needed a level one. Okay. Maybe charging them up is kind of pointless. I swear if there's like a fucking secret when you hit- if you hit the rat, I'm gonna be pissed. Where'd the other ball go? Hello? What? What? Oh, there it is. If I'd like teleported. Don't run away. God damn it. Are you chasing the rat as well? Wait. What's happening? Should I go towards the bell? I don't know where the bell is, though. Is this bugged or is... I guess this these recharge and there was only like a tiny bit in this one. Oh my god, this is like worse than the fucking rat. Jesus Christ, man. You gotta be kidding me! At least, like, have the... If you get the multiplier up, it would be nice if it, like, made the ball bigger or something, so it was, like, easier to hit stuff, or maybe faster as well, or something. So you could just char charge up, like, a big one, and then just point and click, and it would just instantly, like, hit something. Well, since this seems to be going on for a while, let me, like, just turn on some, like, Niflis or something. It's not gonna fit the vibe at all, but, like, it's just... so... silent. Hold on, I need to, like, adjust the volume. Yeah, it's probably fine. Okay, let's start it from the top. There we go. That was lucky. Okay, m maybe I should not have this now, because... Final boss. But what was that about, like, oh, when when the bell rings, you gotta, like, go get back here or something. Shit's about to go down, right? Yeah, Niflis was the secret technique. Niflis solves all problems. Seriously, why, why are there no sounds in this game, other than just, like, walking around?
and it just closed. What the fuck was that game, man? Like, the thing is, it definitely, there's some aspects of that that have a lot of potential. Like, that could be really cool if you, like, again, had it be more fluid so that you could, like, actually, may maybe instead of just, like, having the same pattern that you do all over and over, maybe have, like, different spells that have different patterns that you have to, like, do fucking ninjutsu moves to, like, channel or something, and then... Like, the, the movement had nothing to do with anything. Being able to, like, jump, double jump, and air dash was completely irrelevant. Like, there was no platforming, no dodging attacks, no patterns of any kind. And, like, the ball just didn't do anything. It d doesn't seem like there was any reason to, like, channel the higher power or anything. It, it barely didn't... barely seemed to make any difference in terms of damage or anything, so... I, I, I just don't understand. The concept of, like, doing a fucking QTE Dance Dance Revolution thing to cast some magic is kind of cool, and you could definitely do stuff with that. But yeah, there there needed to be more. Like, I, I don't understand. And, like, there was no direction, there was no, no audio, basically. There's no anything. Also, way too ridiculous PS1 texture warping. Yeah. Some neat mechanics, but just like as a as a whole, that was just nonsensical. The Branco Burial by Dionan. A mysterious cold ashes. Oh, as mysterious cold ashes. Damn it! W A's and D and arrow keys to navigate. Space to interact and arrow keys. Uh, descend from above. You set forth on a quest to find purpose in a village about to be frozen in time. We'll tap to show info, space to interact. So, are you saying I should be using both arrow keys and W and E as like original Doom or something? The Branco burial. There's space to start. Hold space to skip cutscene. I'm good. Sidera Alenkar. Is something falling from the sky? Is like Oriona Silva or something? Is that the other one? Mom, are those ashes or something? Is something burning? Yeah, Celeste Silva, I guess. I don't think so. They're cold. Lua Costa. It's the end. It's here. Martin. Alvis Martim? Let's calm down. Josue, Cosmo, everything will be just fine. I'm gonna stop reading the names, because I barely have time to read what they're actually saying. Face. Amadeus, there's something you need to do. Sounds an awful lot like Andros. Or like, reminiscent of that. Oh, I need to actually click. For me and for yourself. Go ahead and do it. Get it done. Whoa. Whoa, this is interesting. Visually. Two days remain until the burial. What is this, Majora's Mask? Josue, frozen in time and place. Save the children! What is happening? Just keep moving forward, my friend. I don't think there's anything we can do about these ashes. Life goes on. If I talk again? Yeah? Oh, I didn't read that. Help! Cold, 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 cold! Save the children! The end is coming! Save the children! Unsure and unstable. Elenkar is cosmic winner. I wonder if Sol and Eris will pay for the damage these ashes might cause. Hopefully it won't cost me much. And then, like, arrow keys? Yeah, oh my god, arrow keys is for the camera, and I can't do that with a mouse? Oh, this is very... unique. Silva's family, a humble palace for humble souls. You can enter? Who would you like to talk to? Celeste? Oh, hello. It's been a while since I saw you, eh? 
How are you doing? We are doing fine. I know it's very out of the blue, but could you perhaps get us that children's book that Cosmo has at his shop? Yeah, it's like biblically accurate angels, basically. I think it's called Mushroom Princess or something. Oriona? Orion? Ari, Orion? Orion? I don't know. Really wanted it, but I have no means to pay for it. Hold on one sec. I heard that you are close to him, so maybe you could get it cheaper. No, go work for it. What does this mean? Like, two crystals? One crystal. I'll see what I can do. What? Okay, I'll see what I can do, I guess. I get one crystal? So being an asshole gives you more crystals? Thank you so much. Orione, I guess. Orione will be so happy. But maybe I get more crystals if I complete the quest. So it's like, be an asshole, get crystals now. Or be helpful and get more crystals eventually, or something. Soul in Eris' house. The old command center. Free tea, courtesy of Aurora. I want free tea. There's no one inside. It's Martim. Come and get fresh herbal tea. Good afternoon. Would you like to try some warm tea? I only have lukewarm tea. Hold on. Not even that. It's pretty cold by now. We should commemorate this lovely gift that Aurora has brought upon us. I don't believe the ashes should be celebrated. I'd love some fresh tea. It'll warm up your insides. It's good to see that some people here haven't been corrupted by the demons and their masks. May Aurora bless you. Oh no. I see I'm like spending time doing this. So you have to like choose what you actually spend your time on. Uh oh. Sewers, what the hell is happening here? Everything here. Oh god. I can't tell what this is supposed to say. I don't know. Sidera? What does it say? One for you, two for me? Who was it that I was supposed to, like, get the thing from? Cosmo? Everything you don't need and will never want. Let's go into Cosmos. There is no one inside. Never mind. Home. Home is where the soul is. Are you sure you want to go home? Time will go by and it will never come back. Martim's Shed. The work workplace of an uprighteous man. I can go in here. Who would you like to talk to? Uh, let's not. Let's go into the sewers. What would you like to do? Make an offering or make a deal? Let's make a deal. You already have an item. Don't be shy and share it with someone. What? Make an offering. Hmm, for this exquisite tea I can offer you three crystals. What do you say? Deal. It's always a ple pleasure to make deals with you. Make a deal. Let's see what I have here. A letter will keep someone on... What? Will keep someone on a heartbeat. What does that mean? The Mushroom Princess will gain someone's trust. And then Candle will keep someone lit. Old do Doll will keep someone aware. And Old Coat will keep someone warm. Well, let's get the Mushroom Princess, I guess. You can only hold one item at a time and no returns. This is a, a very strange experience. A classic, as they say. While a child would adore this book, rumor has it someone's already on the lookout for it. What would you like to do? Make an offering. Hmm, I have no interest in what you possess right now. Too bad I can't, like, sell it back to him. So... Can I go back here? Celeste? Hello there. Here's the book. You got it. I'll give it to Oriona right right away. I knew I I knew we could could ah, I can't read. I knew I couldn't read. I knew we could trust you. And there's one day remaining now. 
Victim of life. Hello there. Are you afraid of the ashes? Can I help you with something else? Sure, let's just go the Celeste route. Oh, you kind soul. If we ever need anything, I'll ask you. Are you afraid of the ashes? It's nothing, don't worry. Aurora loves us. Oh. I don't know if that, like, spent time. So, what do we do now? Cosmo's shop? Who would you like to talk to? Cosmo? Hi there, what can I do for you? How's the shop doing? Surviving? Every day I dream of shutting this place down. And traveling to a place far, far away. No, not one place. To infinite places. So you won't bu buy anything then. Classic. Okay, I guess we can't buy anything. Okay, still morning. I'm not sure if, like, a certain amount of actions will advance the time to the next thing. Or if it's, like, every action will advance if it's an action that will advance the time. No one's inside. You got, you got some more tea? Aurora, my children are sick. Please help. Sidera's family. And they're like orbiting around here. You can see how many there are. Stella. Hi, how are you? Celine asked me to buy a book for her. These people always want bits and pieces of us. What? Don't just hand it to her. Teach her to fish or whatever. Too late for that. Also, why Celine? It was Celeste. Was that intentional or was that like a miss... Miswriting, whatever. Miswrite. Ellen Carr? Hello there, anything I can do for you? What do you think of the ashes? Oh, come on. Don't waste my time. I don't see you out much. There's not much to do here, is there? I'd rather save my energy for a better cause. Cosmo wants to sell his shop, aren't you interested? There's no way I'm buying all that junk. Cosmo is shady. Okay. Still morning. I don't quite understand, like, what actions will advance time and what won't. No one's inside. Soul and Ares' house? No. We kind of have nothing to do except talk to Lua. Or... Yeah, like, we have to talk to Lua, as far as I can tell. We are the Fractured Dreamers. Will you un... Unsmask? The bizarre truth will remain in blissful, cold ignorance. I will definitely unsmask it. Truth? Something's shifted. I feel it in my bones. Maybe it's every time there's a crystal involvement that advances time or something? Shadows in the white. Can't you see them? Are you like the others? It's as if the world conspired to make a jest of me. Yeah, that advanced time to afternoon. Unsure and unstable? Shall we contemplate the enigma of the ashes, or be content in our own ignorance? I'm not gonna do that now. Hi hi. This cold. No, don't worry. Wanna play with my toys? They're super fun. What are you doing? Playing with my toys. They're super fun. Uncle Martin gave them to me. The prince wants my fave. He looks like my dad. Are you feeling okay? The ashes scare me a bit, but mom says they'll stop falling soon. I don't know if it's still, like, too quiet. This game isn't very loud. Uh, I guess let's visit Cosmo again. Probably nothing. Yeah. Okay, never mind. Wonder if you could have played played this with a gamepad. 
Still no one there. And now the prince arrives with his horse. Who would you like to talk to? Celeste? What was that? Zero and one? Hello there. Can I help you again? No? Kinda looks like we just have to talk to Lua. Did I just like accidentally do the one action on day one that advanced time before I checked anything else? I thought it was gonna be like, oh, you have to do a whole bunch of different choices and like everyone's gonna want different things. So you have to like, you know, go through the game multiple times to see what would happen. But it kind of seems like I just accidentally picked the one conversation that advanced time the first time. Because, yeah, this is all just going to be the same, right? Seems like it. I saw you talking to that crazy beggar. Please don't bring your germs close to me. Thank you. Jesus. Who's the beggar? Lua? I guess so. And I guess we can only talk to Amadeus during nighttime or something. Martim is in. My children are in danger. What do you know about Lua? A true sufferer. How are you? I'm worried about the future. Okay. Again, doesn't seem like we can do anything other than just talk to Lua, I guess. Yeah, okay. Let's talk about the truth. The ashes aren't an enigma, they are an answer. Yes, yes! Shall we find out the question together then? Let's go around and see if anyone wants to talk. I'm too tired. I can't think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it doesn't look like we can do anything else. Yeah, nothing else. Yeah, some more, like, choices would have been nice. Just, like, having different things that you can do in each time slot, and you have to, like, prioritize and choose what you want to do, who you want to help. It seems like it's very linear. Shall we contemplate the Enigma of the Ashes? You should not be out here in this cold. They're falling like shards of glass. Shall we dance in this Asylum of Ashes? Hold on, let's talk to Mr. Faceman. Make a deal? But I can't really do anything. I can do the letter, I guess. We'll keep someone on a heartbeat, whatever that means. Sure. Intriguing choice. This might be the cheapest item I have, but it could very well bring you immense fortune. I'll offer it to you. Let's go around talking to everyone, I guess, to see if we can uh, give the letter to someone. I'm not sure who would want a letter. No one's really, like, made it seem like they would.
Ja. And like, what's up with a shop having so many super expensive things? Like, it wouldn't be possible to uh, amass that much, right? Unless I maybe was supposed to buy the letter like day one and then give it to someone. What do I even do now? Do I just have to go to bed? Nothing else seems to be available. Can I, like, go up here? Oh, Cosmo's house, not on work hours. Oh, okay. This might be something. I should have done this earlier. Oi! What brings you here? I need to buy something. Not during work hours. What? What do you mean, not during work hours? Do you, don't you mean do, only during work hours? I need a break sometimes too, you know? Or did he mean it's not work hours? Like, I, I don't know. It's a weird sentence. Alright, I think I just have to go to bed. Unless I can, like, go up somewhere else over here? Can I walk all the way around? Elenkar's hideout working very hard indeed. There's no one inside. Damn, okay, so that's something you would want to check. Like, every time slot as well. Anywhere else you can sneak around? Nothing here. Nothing here. Yeah, that's it. Alright. Going to bed then. Day of the burial. At the end of the day. The end is... No one inside. Let me give you a hug, it will warm you up. But that'll advance time, I guess? You need some fresh air. Will that also advance time, since, like, it's pink? What? Now it's gone? I can't do that anymore? I, like, lost the chance to do that? Okay, I can. Did you enjoy the book? I haven't read it yet, but I promise to I'll do it soon. This night. And we went in there. Hello there, anything I can do for you? I have this letter for you. Do I? Okay, hold on. Before I do that, let's just check the uh, the hideouts. If I can enter that now. No. Maybe if I give him the letter, maybe he'll sneak into his hideout for some reason. Let me take a look. Maybe I should have talked to everyone first to see if anyone else could get given the letter. Where did you get this? I wrote it, or I don't know. Someone gave it to me. I didn't read it. Oh, good. Thank you for delivering it to me. Yeah, it's afternoon now. I probably should have uh, looked around elsewhere first, but oh well. He's still in here, not in his hideout. Hello there, anything I can do for you? But basically I traded one crystal for three, I suppose, if you do that. And just to check, can't do this now. Nope. I feel like I've missed the time slot, but that would have been a thing. My children are gone. Why would she do this? Is 
Shall we contemplate the enigma? Can't even do anything anyway. Nothing new. Can't sneak in. No one there. I guess let's give someone a hug. Or should I say you should go outside? You need some fresh air. Surely we can... Well, this would probably advance the time. Let's say this one. I think this will also advance time. Though it's not purple like this, but it looks weird. Let's try it. It's too cold. We're not leaving this house until it all returns to normal. So maybe that means I could have... If I could buy the, uh, the sweater, I could give it to her. And then she could go out. Alright, I have a hug. Oh, you. Thank you. I don't have enough for the sweater, I don't think. Oh, Jesus. Oh, that's cool. Nice snow graphics. Can't I just, like, plow through all the snow now? I'll fix this whole place up. Don't worry. Yeah, maybe they should have, like, this effect wear off after a while, so that the snow, like, falls back in. Leave me alone. Alon. Chaos in the air. As Ash of Cha. Chaos. Uh, you're going to die out here. Lua's gearing up for the burial. Don't pester him. I thought that was her. Oh, who, who are you? Hello? What are you doing out there? How do I get to you? Can I, like, walk up here? And then, like, drop off? No. I don't know who this is. Or if I could talk to them somehow. Let's check the hideout. Well, first let's go in normally. Yeah, so maybe now he's in the hideout. That makes sense. Uh, let's just quickly check, like, how much money I have and stuff. Seven. Yeah, we'd need 13 somehow. That wouldn't really work. I can do the candle, though. If we need it. I wonder what the voodoo doll would, would be used for. What was that? Controls. Does that say anything? Here's W, S, and D, backspace, space. Camera and menu. Yeah. Hold for stats. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. That did say. Just like how many crystals you have, nothing else. Maybe if you're holding an item as well. I can't like jump off here behind. Nope. Still? Is that him right there? No one inside? No one inside? How are you doing? Now that you mention it, cold. But more in the sense of loneliness, you know? I... I don't know. I don't know how I'm doing. You told me that you want to travel around the world. I've always wanted to, but I'm stuck with this shop. I don't earn enough to do what I want, and if I close, I'll starve. I'm frozen. I'll buy your shop. Seven crystals are far from meeting my requirements, but I appreciate your willingness to help. 
Interesting. So maybe if you have enough, you could actually do that. Have you read the book? I really wanted to, but it's too dark. Mom said the energy will come back soon, but I'm not sure. You can read it tomorrow during the day. There is no tomorrow. How are you feeling? I'm scared, but Mom says everything will be okay. It won't. Are you afraid of the ashes? What was the previous thing? Fresh air. Guess we're doing the uh, Orion, Oriona, whatever route this time. Got the book. And now I guess I'll go buy the candle. All for the sake of a story. Because there's nothing else I can really do. A candle of the utmost quality indeed. Capable of burning for approximately seven days. Sounds great. Take this candle, it will light up your room. Thank you so much. I'll ask mom to light it up for me. As you leave their house, a subtle warmth envelops your chest. Simultaneously, as Ori Oriona, I don't know, falls asleep, she experiences a similar increase in warmth. And Celeste's bedroom as well. And their whole house. It's fascinating how a modest flame can swiftly transform into an inferno! Oh no! Unforeseen twists are part of life, and even well-intentioned deeds can hit you back in the face. It's the orbiting of existence. Well, at least they died warm, I suppose. Probably a better end than whatever awaits us, I assume. The Branco burial is in progress. Great. Can't like go in anywhere. I can't even see where I am. Where am I? Oh, there, between the buildings. Can I go into the hideout now? No. Alright, big face thing. Do your worst. Oh, what does it say? The... One and only something. It's like you can you can almost make out what it's trying to say, but I can't. I think it's it would say the one and only. I don't know. There you are. It is about time. Everyone was waiting for you. For me? As you traverse the pathways of your own story. Surrounded by choices and buried dreams. Do you ever find yourself wondering? Is this the life I truly wanted to live? Celeste and Rion, or Riona, whatever. So they're here because I killed them. It's great. Don't you love it here? I did everything for her. I gave my soul to her. I shared everything I had with her. And yet she's so stupid. She misses her father so much. Hold on one second.
God, my voice just is never holding up during these these streams. Oh, how I wish they were still together. Would be one less thorn in my shoes. What? They? Who's they? Don't you mean you? Like you and her father? I'm sorry. I feel asleep. Like I you mean I fell asleep? I'm so sorry. Mushrooms. Jiggle physics mushrooms. Thank you for doing it. The orbits are steady. The planets are spinning. Thank you. We shall remember each other forever. Good luck on your next chapter. Goodbye. Goodbye. Okay. I don't even know if I want to, like, go back in and do that again. Because it seems like there's probably other stuff we can do. And, like, save up for different items and see if something else happens. If I, like, buy the shop or if I give the, the sweater to Celeste or if we somehow can get into the hideout. But, like... That took a while, and I almost feel like it's better to just leave it at that. That's just like one playthrough, and yeah, if you're curious yourself, you can maybe pick this up and try it out. And maybe even let me know if there's like like some interesting thing. Hell, maybe I'll do it like on my own time as well. I feel like it's a good idea to not go back in and try that again on stream, because it would probably be a lot of just retreading the same steps and might ruin the magic a little bit, but yeah, that was very interesting. Just extremely weird, but like weird in a good way, not just like weird for the sake of weird. It like just felt extremely unique and like the way you interact with things and the controls and like everything just never seen anything quite like that. But yeah, the one thing is like m maybe I just missed some of those other choices you could have made. But up until basically the final day, it felt like there wasn't really that much you could do different. Maybe just getting the letter, like ignoring the book thing at the start and then getting getting the letter and turning that into more money. And I don't know. Yeah, that was that was interesting. I think with that, I should take a break and then uh, continue afterwards. So let's just leave it here. And I guess I'm just going to go back to this one, just so we get some music. Might as well... Oh. Might as well have that for the break. And then I can do that next time as well, probably. So yeah, let's just like... Sit here, I suppose. So yeah, I'll be back, and then we'll continue with Car 4. In just a sec. All right, I'm back, and yeah, let's just keep going with this as part two of the same part. Oh, instead of uh, trying to split these up, since we're not at like a whole uh, car anyway. Yeah, like thinking about it, that that game, what was it even called? The Brango Burial? Burial? Jesus, voice, thank you. It kind of reminds me of, like, weirdly enough, it gives me, like, Crystal Chronicles, like, Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles vibes for some reason. Like, just the the atmosphere and, like, the the way you, like, rotate around the uh, village and stuff. I don't know why. Somehow that, like, fixed camera sort of reminds me of, like, the towns in Crystal Chronicles, and Crystal Chronicles always had that, like, off feel to it, I feel. I don't know. Scary Stories! Oh no. By Midnight Mirage Softworks. You invited your friend over for W is indeed to move. Left mouse button to interact, mouse for interacting with puzzles. Christmas. Though you you though you're completely snowed in. My completely snowed in what? I thought you'd never get here. It's snowing really hard out there. I wasn't sure I'd make it, so you're welcome. You're right, sorry. Thanks for coming to stay with me. Anything for my best friend? Now that I'm here, what do you want to do? There's no one else in the whole dorm, so we could do anything. 
We could go up to Anything. the machines and get some chips. I'm not really hungry. Could watch a movie? No. How about you suggest something then? What about when we were younger and had sleepovers? You always told the best scary stories. I learned them all from my older brother. That's apart from having an older brother. Well, you thought there were a lot of perks from that. Hold on, if I press escape... Okay, it just closes. I just figured uh, I should probably increase the volume a little bit more. Like, that is very quiet, but I might regret this. Now, this is very, very loud. Let's just redo that. Yeah, it's very I quiet never get here. for now. It's snowing really hard out there. I wasn't sure I'd make it, so you're welcome. You're right, sorry. Thanks for coming to stay with me. Anything for my best friend? Now that I'm here, what do you want to do? There's no one else in the whole dorm, so we could do anything. With that first could line, I thought it was going to be like Resident sense? Evil 1 oh. levels of voice acting. Could watch a movie? But um, then they just, like, started sounding a little more natural. I was thinking about when we were younger and had sleepovers. You always told the best scary stories. I learned them all from my kind older of. brother. That's apart from having an older brother. Well, you thought there were a lot of perks from that. Look, I know he's off limits. He's your brother. Did he ever tell you about the click clack? What's that? Not what? Who? All the best scary stories are about the click clack. Oh my Sorry, god, please yeah. announce it a little bit more. Do you have any more that Jason told you that I haven't heard? Ah. It's cool. Ah. This has happened before. I know where oh, the breaker is. I see. And actually very, very high sensitivity, so I guess uh, 240 uh, DPI to the rescue. Sick PS1. You want to hear one of the stories? Sure. This happened to a friend of a friend. We'll call him Mark. He went camping with his family. This was God, the they are really stomping around here. Tent, and his younger brother Anthony tagged along. His brother was scared of being Huge alone toilet. Tent, but was excited to have Mark taking care of him. The sun set so late that night that when they both crawled into their sleeping bags, they instantly fell asleep. A few hours later, Mark woke up, really needing to go to the bathroom. He turned on the small camping light they had, but left it in case Anthony woke up alone in the dark. Mark quietly left the tent, zipping the flap up behind should him. Should I listen to this while I walk, or should I all he could see from the stand still? Glow. As he was peeing, he heard someone walking up behind him, small footsteps. He finished up and turned around, his heart beating as quick as bee wings. It was Anthony who stared at him with a sullen face. What's wrong, bro? Mark asked. There's someone in the tent, Anthony whispered back, grabbing Mark's hand. I have a feeling this is going to get real walked, loud. He could still see the faint glow of the camping light. It made shadows on the wall of the tent, and they moved as if someone were in there. The flap was open a small bit. Anthony gripped Mark's hand tight, and they walked slowly closer. Mark didn't want to wake his parents. This was his first time having this kind of responsibility. Oh, nice and he didn't audio. Want to lose like, their trust. Mark stopped a few feet. What do you call it? The reverb. Of Anthony's hand. Stay here, he said. Anthony nodded back. Mark grabbed the zipper of the flap and started to unzip it the rest of the way. A small figure faced him, clutching Anthony's pillow. The figure turned to look at him, and it trembled with fear. He felt panic set in as he recognized the creature. In a small, shaky voice, it spoke. Who are you talking to, big bro? That was fine, I guess. It's not as scary as the click clack. What's so scary about the click clack? What it can do to you without you even knowing it's there. The noises it makes, they paralyze you. So cover your ears. Do they sound like works, click the clack by any, any chance? Okay, you can't like blast your face off with steam? I'm not sure if I should have brought the fire ex extinguisher instead. Open door. Notice, to anyone who tries to repair the pipes, someone... Someone, though, it'd be really funny if they'd scratch... If they scratched off the correct values on the emergency instructions. I asked the plumber and he said it was the two Christmas numbers. Question mark, question mark? I don't know, he's always been a bit odd. What, like 2512 or...
I, I guess. Oh god, my DPI. Is it just that? Ah. Uh. Is it 12.25? Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. I'm just expecting her to, like, be gone one of these... these times. Knock, knock. Here's Johnny. Not sure what we need that for, like a wire cutter? But oh, you can sprint as well. What was that? Why did the like audio change in the specific hallway? Like it's normal here? And then suddenly it starts echoing. That's weird. Break chain needs bolt cutters. Yeah, I, I would love to, but I can't put down this, uh, this fire axe. I excuse me. Thank you. Very normal apartment complex. Wait, this wasn't like this before, right? Didn't I come in from this this door? I thought. Am I crazy? Everything is like mirrored, isn't it? Oh. That's interesting. I'm pretty sure it's mirrored. Let's head back quick to see if there's like anything different here. I see it kind of like bonking my head or something. Like, could we also take the fire extinguisher? No. Okay, I thought you could also take that. Never mind. It's very, like, everything is very sticky, which is kind of annoying. Like, you walk against a corner like this and you're, just, you're stuck completely. You have to, like, perfectly not touch anything. That's one, like, minor complaint. That, like, if the exact movement vector you're trying to go in is not, like, correct, can't be done, it just completely stops you. She was a good child and had a loving mother and father that worked long hours sometimes. She came home from school and neither of her parents were home. They both had to put in an extra shift. I don't she think that's quite how audio works, but it sounds cool. They promised it was going to be worth it, as this meant she could get a new bike for her birthday. Sandra made herself something simple so as to not have too much to clean up and watch TV until bedtime. It was quiet in the big house. As she walked upstairs, she turned off the house lights until all that was left was the one in her room. Could she I use the previous computer as well? Late night reading. If her parents were home, they would have made her turn off the light. And oh, yes. Sokoban. Kind of. So she could hear when they were My coming. favorite. What are we doing with this? She read for a while and was starting to doze yeah, it's, off. It's this, what is this open. old game called? She quickly turned off I know this game. Away from the door I've played this on like Amiga. A minute later, someone walked up to her doorway. Oh. A chill hung in the air as they entered the room. Hey kid, you up? Her mom whispered. How she do we do Sandra this then? Arm, running her cold hand down the length of her cheek and shoulder. Sandra continued to play asleep and her mom left the room. Ah. Sandra rolled back over toward the doorway. Lock index four, five. The, hallway. the bathroom door was closed with the light leaking. Lock index four, five. Door. A few minutes later, the front door opened again. I don't, I don't know what that she means. She ran up the stairs to her room. She tried to roll over quickly, but her dad caught her. Like, we're gonna get a combination and the fourth digit is five? 
Sorry, I haven't really been paying attention to your horror story. And so he was shadowed, and his face looked horrible. Yeah, I see. What's wrong? She asked. Her dad sobbed, almost unable to speak. Yeah, it's your it's mother, a bit of a neat concept, like, oh, horror stories told while you're doing stuff, but it's hard to pay attention to the story while you're, like, doing stuff as well. into her father's face and then passed him to the bathroom, where she could see the closed bathroom door, the shadows dancing around in the room. That's it? And over here is where we needed the code? Yeah, I see. Oh god, <laughs> the fucking sensitivity. Maybe I should just have my normal sensitivity and just deal with it being like super high. Nah, I think it's probably better to have it low for these small sections. Yeah. So, okay, I see. So we just push this out of the way first. Wait, oh, I just pushed it out of the way. There we go. Three is nine, so nine, five. Kind of awkward that you have to use backspace to exit those. I think I did like one of the harder ones first. So four blank nine five. I could just guess it, but whatever, let's do the final one. Seven. Four, seven, nine, five. I appreciate that you can click and drag these, and it's not just like click advance one, one number. What? What are you doing? That was weird. Why, why would it say 0 as 10? 4, 7, 10, 5. A little strange. Are we going to have some, like, anti-chamber stuff? Where I loop around and that then... That was a little better than the first one. Still not scary. The staircase though. is gone. Well, if you don't think yep. my stories are good enough, you tell me one. You sure? They're really scary. Yeah. Yeah, tell me all about this click clack guy then. Let's keep going clockwise. Click -clack isn't a guy. It's what you're not expecting. Well, if it's what you're not expecting, wouldn't you expect it then? Maybe, but you don't. The click clack makes you not pay attention to it. I don't it. think that's how that works. Like a smell you remember from childhood. Is it like any other creature? No, it's really mundane. Like walking through a doorway and forgetting what you're trying to do. That doesn't sound scary. It's not at first, so it makes it worse. What it can do, though. I'm too yeah, this this voice scary. actress is like the least scared, enthusiastic though, voice actress I've ever heard. I think I'm out of them. Me is okay, pretty good though. Tell me about your day then. Like she sure. sounds more believable. Was on campus about a huge storm coming. Guess we just have All to wait here. The dorm decided to either drive home since Christmas is coming, and they'd rather leave early in order to miss the storm. I didn't though. I don't really have anywhere else to go since I don't have a car. So I'm waiting for my mom to come pick me up tomorrow. I tried calling any other people I know and no one could come keep me company. See? You know all of that, but you're not thinking. You're letting your brain fill in the gaps. Wait, what? Bye. Oh, Jesus. And that's, that's the end. Well... That's something, I guess. <laughs> Again, I feel like the concept of that is kind of interesting. Like, walking around solving some puzzles while you're, like, telling each other horror stories or whatever. But... Yeah. Uh, ending... Not so great. And, uh... Pretty much everything else, like, it, it, there wasn't really that much to it. And yeah, kind of jank with the movement and stuff, but... Again, interesting concept at least.
I guess they tr they tried. Outpost zero. Also now it's like very loud. Let me like reduce it a little bit again. By Void Bugs and Leon Artman. I that sounds familiar. Movement, shift to run, left mouse button to shoot, flashlight, aim down sights, Q for heal, C for crouch, R for reload. You've woken up from cryogenic sleep, but something is wrong in Outpost Zero. You need to send a distress signal to warn the others. E to interact. Okay, Q to heal, R reload, E to interact. Warning, blood. It didn't capture properly, there we go. Actually, like, pretty decent sensitivity. Can I change it? Nope, that just closes the game. Okay, try again. Yeah, I, I wish... Games didn't do that, like... Developers need to learn not to just have escape close the game without anything. Like, it's at the very least do, like, you press escape and then says press escape again to close the game, or something like that, or press Y to close the game. Because otherwise it's like... It, it just happens when you're just looking for like an options menu or something. Kate, I need your help. Something weird happened to the crew and they are acting violent. You need to send a message to Central and tell them not to come near the base. This is probably a virus and we can't let this spread. You will need my keycard to access the radio room. The office password is 0451. Isn't that a thing? Isn't that the uh, the code from, like, every single uh, immersive sim, like Deus Ex and stuff, and System Shock? I think that's 0451? Hold on, let me confirm that. I'm just curious. Yeah, 0451 shows up in a lot of games. That was the door code to Looking Glass Studios in Cambridge, Cambridge, Massachusetts. Interesting. Yeah, I've, I've always heard about this code, but I've never, like, known the story. And the save code is unreadable. That's not very helpful. I think I will lower the sensitivity anyway, though. Maybe this is too low. Eh, it's probably fine. Okay, seems a bit loud. I can't open this with my hands. I will need some tool to open this. I got tool to open that. Ah. Uh, oh yeah, there's a flashlight. I don't have the right card for this door. It looks like we got ourselves a horror game. What is this, The Witness? Can't do anything. Yeah, definitely a bit of a System Shock vibe. This is just like the amount. Just like, this is 7. That's 8. This was 6. But it's like counting in a really weird way. 5. I have no idea how that system makes any sense. 2, 3, 4, yeah. Strange. You can sprint as well. What else could you do? Like reload, Q for heal. We have two, two health kits. C for crouch or control. C or control work. Head crabs in vents, probably. Nice Christmas tree. Med kit. Where's my, uh, I have a gun. How do I, like, use the gun? I guess we can't right now. Like, there's no reason to. But once things start happening, I guess I'll pull out the gun. Yeah, not, like, number keys or anything.
Again, this feels like a game that's going to get very loud very soon. Like, this is so quiet. I wish the ambience was a little louder in the background. Camilla, this is... I, I think that's Camilla or... Yeah, not Camilla or something. Camilla, this is Elsa. Meet me in the infirmary. I'll hide the disc inside one of the rooms. You must be confused, but we have to come together and not let them ruin our research. The Wi-Fi room. Okay, actually, since if we're going to be doing this a lot, I will actually uh, go and change the DPI again to like 400, because yeah, 800 is too much. 240, not enough. Wait. There we go. Yeah, that feels better. Microscope room? And some sort of uh, containment room, I guess. This is a very shitty flashlight, by the way. Ammo? I saw Nick, the radio guy, locking the girl he was dating, Claris, in his room. He came out with something in his hand. I think it was his keycard, and went to the bathroom. You need to see if Claris is okay. Nope. Mar Maria's letter. Carlos, your daughter misses you. Today is her fifth birthday, and she keeps asking about you. I don't know why you went to a frozen moon, but you better come back soon. Maria, 20 2056. Why would she, like, write Maria 2056? Like, the the year? So then, what do I do now? Again, don't have any uh, access to the gun. Fifth birthday. I see, so we just do like minus... Because I got this letter, or he got this letter 2056, and her birthday, like when she was born, would be 2051? I see. That's kind of clever. Now we get gun. Purple card, added to inventory. High quality view model right there. And because we have gun, it means we have enemy. God, it's gonna get so loud, I can tell. Generator's broken. Hello everyone, the generator is acting funny recently. You need to go to the panel and put the arrow in the blue zone. Very technical. You need the frequency disc. I need to insert all the discs. You need the route disc. You need the message disc. Okay, well, that wasn't too loud, at least. And it wasn't, like, just a jump scare. It's kind of, uh, expected. Bunch of med kits. So, is it one of those games, like Killing Floor, where you reload and lose all the, the bullets? No, it's not. It's the unrealistic kind.
frequency disc. I don't know if there's, like, headshots. Yeah. Okay, there are headshots. Good to know. Not sure if aiming down sight, like, does anything. If it makes your shots more accurate or do more damage or something. Or if it's just for aiming purposes. Uh, frequency was middle, yeah. Yeah, it's three shots to the head, and ADSing does nothing. Yellow card. Maybe that's for the lab? For how shitty the view model looks, the reload animation looks pretty cool. The death animation also looks really cool. It reminds me of something like that sort of stop motion sprite animations. I mean, like Doom, I guess. Yeah, very Doom like. Behold, light. Okay, hold on. Let's keep exploring here. Could you see this guy, like from the vent? I didn't notice that. Would be kind of nice if there were, like, blood stains or something when you were nearing an enemy. Or at least sometimes. Oh god, that is very dark. And this is very blue. Don't have much ammo left. I have much ammo left. Can't open any of the stalls. There's no, like, melee or anything. Pink card. All the, like, default colors that you would have for official, like, space station business. Like, purple, yellow, and pink. Among Us. Get it in the blue. Oh god, it's like, it's missed. Oh no. I, I did it. Oh god, something just like loaded in. They just spawned like 20 enemies or something because it just had a massive stutter. I was expecting someone to, to be here. Checking, so no one's spawned here behind me. I thought everything would be brighter now. But I guess only a couple of rooms. Oh <laughs> yeah, it's chromatic aberration. I didn't even notice that. The the reticle is just like the French flag. All right, let's go to the lab. Oh, gee, I wonder what's going to happen here. Tested the note. What? We found a humanoid body in our last dig. This is incredible, but it can be very dangerous. We don't know what kind of life this is and how it could affect us. Someone stole one of the samples. This could be our end. Root disk added to inventory. 
No? This is not like a tank with a dude that's going to pop out when you grab the key item? Have they learned nothing from Dead Space? What the hell? That's unexpected. Yeah, like, I wish the ambience was a bit louder, because everything else is fairly decently, like, you know, the, the volume isn't too high on the screams and gunfire and stuff like that, but there is ambience, but it's like, it's so quiet, you can, like, barely even hear it. Alright, so, what, what can I even do at this point? I guess maybe back here somewhere? Yeah. You can't jump, though. Wouldn't be a Doom clone with jumping. Then it would be a Quake clone. That's how that works, right? Yeah, expected that. Ocello. Message disc? Was that the last one? I think I got the route disc as well, yeah. Yeah, can't do anything here. Let's go disc it up. Wait, disc was over here. Sending message. Error, error. Please manually reset the antenna outside the base. I think both manually and antenna are misspelled. Unlocking airlock room. I see. There's probably someone in the airlock, though. No? Oh. That was unexpected. The end? No? Okay. Phase two. Oh god, I hate this filter. Did I, like, take that from a corpse? Or was it just, yep, that's the spacesuit. Okay, the filter doesn't look too bad when you're outside. Only inside. And the flashlight? The flashlight, like, doesn't do anything. Eh, a little bit. Outside. And the do there doesn't seem to be any reason not to have the flashlight on at all times. Gallard frequency. Oh. Can't read any of this in time. She got very disgruntled by bleeding from her eyes, and then it closes. Okay. R.I.P., I guess. Well, that was pretty interesting for a, a Doom clone. Again, wish the atmosphere was a little, or like the ambience was a little bumped up so that it would be more moody the entire time instead of like straining to hear if there even was anything making sound. But yeah, otherwise, pretty good. Sensitivity settings would have been nice for uh, an FPS game. Otherwise, like, the art itself is, like, pretty basic, but making a stop-motion animation out of it was, like, a very interesting artistic choice. So yeah, I, I like all of that. Gunplay felt fine, like, the gun felt punchy enough, and, you know, headshots and stuff. Blowing people's heads off is always fun. Everyone loves it. Yeah, pretty good. Chilled Coast Station. I see, so now it's another one of these. Uh, how far am I going today? I don't know, like, should I, should I not do the rest and leave this for, like, another stream? Because otherwise, if I, if I go on now and do, like, another half hour or something, then maybe I'll do, like, two or three of these, and then this is gonna be a very short thing. 
next time. You got a screen cap? Outpost Zero informs all, that all collaborators who are close to the Enceladus, Enceladus satellite go to it immediately. I see. Hmm. Take a moment to reconsider. Once again, very high sensitivity. I'm making a list of things to look forward to. What are some of your favorite games? Pong. And maybe Mario. And Tetris. You should try those out if you haven't. There's Santa. And is that Duke? One day this will be a memory. One day this will be forgotten. Okay. Pretty nice snow effect. Which probably isn't really conveyed on the stream, I would imagine. Did I miss something here? No. A little chilly for a beach episode. Maybe we can come back in the summer. Yeah, you can zoom in. I'm not sure why you would need to zoom in, really, ever. Oh! Okay, didn't expect to be able to fall down there. Oh! Did this really happen, or is this just a story we tell ourselves? Where's, like, Mr. Skelly? This year has been so hard. I hope the next one is better. Me too. Yeah, that's as far as we can go. Surely the skelly dude, the pink skeleton, would be somewhere? Or has he, like, turned back? He couldn't handle the journey? Hmm. I don't see him anywhere. Yeah, I'm not sure if I'm missing him somewhere, or if he just quit the journey. And we're just four left, if you count me. Oh wait, no, 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 here's something, here he is. That was kind of hard to find, honestly. I feel like maybe that could have been, like, signaled from this side a little more. Like maybe a railing or something to show, like, here's something to go up. There he is. Do you remember how you got here? Yeah, I walked up the stairs. They were hard to find. And that's it. And we can just glide down the entire way. Hello again. All right. Yeah, I kind of feel like it would be a good idea to end it off here and save the rest for a third stream, because otherwise it's going to be very, like, weirdly lopsided, I feel. But I don't know if I should just, like, stop streaming or if I should do something else for, like, half an hour. Wouldn't be much to do, really. Like, if anything, I guess I could do a tiny bit of crosscode or something. Just do a little bit of grinding. Sure. I think I'll do that, so let's leave it off here for Madvent. This is a pretty nice pack so far. I wasn't the biggest fan of Madvent 3 back when I checked that out. Wasn't super impressed with uh, many of the games. There were some really cool ones, though. And uh, 
Like, the story didn't really appeal to me. But this is nicer. I like these little, like, intermission pieces in the music and just vibe. And yeah, pretty much every single game has at least, even if some of them are pretty rough, at least all of them you can, like, see the idea. You can get what they were trying to accomplish. And it's, like, pretty creative stuff and some really cool stuff. Again, like that, uh, oh god, what was it called? Trobos 5 something. I would have liked to see like an expansion of that, like a full-on game. I feel like that has very that has potential for some really cool stuff. But yeah. Thanks for watching Madvent 4 for the second time. Probably next time is gonna be the last then. I'm not sure if they've already added the 25th, because I'm not streaming on the I'm not streaming this at least on the Christmas weekend. I doubt I'll be streaming at all. It's like, maybe I can stream Friday, but probably not Saturday, Sunday. I, I don't know. It's kind of up in the air a little bit. But I wouldn't be streaming like the 25th on the 25th. So I'll probably do the remainder next time if that's possible, if they've added it by then, if it's not already added. So yeah, we'll check this out next time. Crosscode now.